and welcome back to Mornings. We appreciate you uh, starting your day with us. Family Net Radio and TV stations all around the country. Larry Estepa along with Lori Allen. And uh, we're talking about some fun things this morning. Uh, with Christmas coming up, everybody gets so crazy about packages. You know, I, I, if I spend a lot of time wrapping a package, I hate to see somebody just tear into it. You know? <laughs> I'm just kind of like, well, I, I, that was a work of art. You, you just, really go to a lot of trouble to I, wrap your I, gifts. I, I enjoy that. I really do. I have yeah. for a long time. It's very so, artistic. So it's, 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 it's a little dis- disconcerting. See, oh, man, it just ripped right into it. Well, that's why we booked this next guest for you because oh, she's got all these great ideas of how you can make your packages more creative and, and do it inexpensively. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Copy paper is expensive these days. It is. It is. Buy the good stuff. Yeah, we want to welcome Sandy Sandler to the show. She is a corporate gift expert, and she's creator of the QVC bestseller, Bodabra. Hey, Sandy, how are you? I'm great. How are you doing? Good, good. Well, what, what's a corporate gift expert? That sounds like a job I'd like. <laughs> well, you know, basically it's going out and putting gifts together oh, for companies. For, for, okay, cool. And it, it's fun because you're sort of shopping for everybody else. Be great to put together, be spending great, somebody else's money. Be great to put yeah. together those big swag bags that they give yeah. out, to, you know, in L.A. That'd be cool. At the Oscars or something. Exactly. Well, Cindy, you've got some wonderful tips about ways that we can save money this season by using just things that are around the house. Tell us about them. Well, you know, I like to call it fast, fun, frugal, and green. Because if you're, you know, we're all watching our budget right now. Yeah. And being green and environmentally friendly and being frugal are, they're, they're, the same thing. It's smart. Yeah. So one of the things that I love, I mean, when Larry was talking about art, artwork, you know how our children, they make, they do drawings for us, and we end up with so many of them. Or for me, my nieces and nephews. And you, you can't throw them away because they're your children's artwork. Well, that's why you have refrigerators. <laughs> well, right, but we only, you know, most of us have one refrigerator, yeah. Larry. Uh, no, no, I've got two, <laughs> one for artwork, so one for food. Yeah. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> but, But one great idea is to take your children's artwork and use it as wrapping paper. And they won't be insulted by that? Actually, they're proud Hmm. because you're you're taking their paper and you're going, let's turn this into grandma's wrap or, you know, from my Aunt Sandy's wrapping paper or whatever. And you're proud to receive it. And the kids, you know, they're really excited that it's being used for something else. Okay, I don't have any kids, so I can't use that tip. Give me another one. Okay, the next tip is um, a something really simple, is you can get those um, little Chinese uh, takeout containers. Yeah. You can buy them at the big box stores or even, um, you know, any of the craft stores. And you can take a men's necktie and turn that into the bow. Won't the, won't, won't the Mugu guy pen, you know, kind of mess up the tie? I mean, well, oh, you, you want to mess me all, I see. Use one that's actually oh. clean. Oh, oh okay. I, <laughs> I see. A pre-used one. Yeah. Um, and, you know, all of these tips are in our, our e-book, which I believe we sent you a link to or pictures of. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that, and everybody can get that at bodabber.com as well. Um, but then another idea is you can take an old ice cream, bo- ice cream container, and those are very cleanable. <laughs> and you just use that as your box, and you can wrap that up um, with a just with a bow, and it looks really cool. Um, one of my favorites is you know how we all go out and get gift bags, and they're very expensive. Yeah, you can spend like a dollar plus easy for for a gift bag, and you know people talk about reusing them, but you know they get scratched and they don't they look like they're being reused. An idea that I love is you can go and buy the re the reusable shopping bags, the canvas bags. Yeah. And those you can get at like the big discount stores for as low as fifty cents each. Sometimes even cheaper. Oh, and then people can use it for their groceries. That's exactly. a great idea. Yeah. And you know we have an example of when we just put two little bows on it, and it actually looks really, really cute. Yeah, our TV audience is getting to see it now, and it is cute. How, how do you hide the corporate logo? <laughs> well, if you're going to do corporate, then you can have you can actually have it embroidered on there, oh, okay. or you can ha- order them from um, companies that do corporate gifts, and you can um, have your logo imprinted on it. No, I'm saying you know, when, when you buy these bags, they're going to say Kroger on it. They're going to say Piggy, Piggly Wiggly. I mean, do, do, do you cover actually, that up? Or? Some of them don't. Oh, really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
I so seen, some I, of them don't. Them and the bridegroom ones at Publix say Publix yeah, really, on. Yeah, really, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the one actually the one that we bought the blue one we got at Walmart and it didn't have anything on it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, and that was fifty cents, I think. That's good. Yeah. See, I, I'm one of those people. I really I enjoy gift wrapping and I I enjoy taking time with it because to me that's that's almost part of the gift. I mean that that, that to me says okay, I, I not only bought you what's inside, but I thought. You know, it'd be, it'd be nice if I made a little extra effort to, to wrap it. So uh, I'm big on that. But, I mean, let's you're face it, I'm, I'm, I'm unusual, I know. <laughs> no, you're a man after my own heart because that was one of the things with Bodabra that was so important to me was we're all tight on time. but And so and we don't want we buy a gift, but giving you want to give a little bit of yourself. Mm. And by spending the time wrapping, but not all, not everybody can make beautiful bows. And you know, really wrap beautifully, and that's kind of where Bodabra came from, because it's so simple. But then this whole series of eBooks that we have on our website is a way for all of us to get back to basics and back to crafting when we might be a little creatively challenged or craftphobic. Well, yeah, I, re I remember years ago, and it was some kind of program, and they had a lady who just uh, made made a bow. It looked like a bow tie out of a out of a piece of uh, out of a piece of. Uh, wrapping paper and I've used that ever since I always thought it was very clever you're doing it right now with yeah, a piece a, of paper yeah it's very clever yeah. and you, it makes well, all you know one of the problems. ideas I like that you have Sandy is get one of those inexpensive vinyl tablecloths if you have like a really big gift uh -huh. that is a terrific idea you just wrap the tablecloth around something and tie a bow and voila you've got exactly oh look there's Larry's bow tie yeah, you put a little piece of paper or a piece of ribbon around it, and you make it out of the, out of the same wrapping paper that you wrap the gift in, so you get this nice bow on on top of the wrapping paper. It's a pretty pretty nice little deal. Yeah, that's cute. It's a great idea. Oh, so you know, why do people? Why are people so manic? Why why do they they go out and spend you know eight or nine dollars on for for foil wrapping paper, and, and these bows are so expensive? I mean. I don't know. Why, why do we do that to ourselves? Why, why don't we take your simple tips and, and have a little more fun with it, be a little more creative, and, and save a lot of money? Oh, I, I don't know. It's a good <laughs> question. I don't know why. <laughs> well, that's why we have you. Well, Sandy, now, you've got some ugly gifts on your website. Are you having some sort of contest for the ugliest gift? We, we did. It's just, it's, it's, we're in the judging process right now. We've had all of them submitted. We've had some really interesting submissions. One of the funniest ones um, was someone who um, had said that her husband was would go out, buy the gift, take the gift, put it in, in leave it in the gift bag. I mean, not the gift bag, the shopping bag, with the um, um, receipt in the bag. Then would take a whole roll of wrapping paper, was too lazy to, to cut it, and just wraps it around until the gift's wrapped, taped it, and that's his wrapped gift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My, my, I, I, I can tell when my son gift wraps something, he wraps it in tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> All his Christmas gifts are wrapped in tinfoil because he'll wait till the night before the paper's already put away. So we, you know, you, oh, it's a tinfoil gift. Brent, Brent gave us a gift. Yeah. That's actually a cute idea. It's you not could, a bad you idea. You can take tinfoil and then take stickers and put it all over the tinfoil. Yeah, it's not a bad that's idea. Cute. I mean, it, you know, but he's less than creative. He's got his... now, the comic strips, that's a good idea. But then you showed a, a gift that was wrapped in the coupon paper, and that didn't look so good. No. Well, yeah. comic strips are, are cute if you use it for kids. Oh, you can't or... use it for adults? Oh, of course you could. Oh, okay, Of good. course you could. But I like comic strips also. Larry's idea for that little bow tie is really cute with a comic strip. Yeah, yeah that would be cute. Well. Yeah. I, I like using, you talk in your book about using cards, you know, last year's Christmas cards as tags. But I use them, I incorporate them in the actual gift wrapping. I'll, I'll weave, you know, I'll, I'll cut slits in them and I'll, I'll put ribbon through it and, and use them as, as something on the front of a paper or something. One year I had all these little scenes that there were little little villages and I cut them out and, and stood them up. They were like 3D on top of the on top of the package. It's really pretty cool. So what are you crazy. doing your gift wrap book? <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. You know. Why don't you and Larry collaborate on the book for next year? <laughs> we'll talk. We'll just have, a, well, we'll have some about, coffee and talk. Um, being green and being frugal, you talk about scraps of fabric. Now, how does that work? Well, if you have, like, let's say you have a piece of fabric, like you were sewing, and you have, you know, a half a yard of fabric or something, if you use pinking shears, that cuts the end so it doesn't fray. And then you just pull that up the same way you would with the vinyl, but for a smaller gift. Um, and it's kind of like what we did with the scarf in the picture that's in the e in the ebook. I don't know if you have that for on air, um, where we just take it and then just pull it together at the top of the gift and then put a bow on it. Okay, that sounds cute. 
one of one of the most clever gift wrapping uh, experiences I ever had. I got fired one time with a guy wrapped my last check in a road map, so I knew it was time to leave. Oh, that was <laughs> oh, very nice. no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. He didn't do that, but I just I thought it'd be fun to do. We well, Sandy, thank you so much for joining us, and we want to encourage everybody to go to Bo Dabra, spelled just like it sounds, BoDabra.com, and you can get all kinds of great ideas for being creative with your wrapping. Yeah, quickly, the, the Bo Dabra machine will actually make beautiful bows. I mean, you know, v- very full, blossomy bows. Oh, you can make any. I'm going to have to send you one. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, Larry would love that. If producer give me your address afterwards, I'll definitely send one. Cool. Or one for both of you. Well, I, <laughs> but, I appreciate um, it. But, yeah, it allows anybody. I mean, my nephew at one and a half was making bows with wow. it. Wow. Now, the level of the beauty of the bow, but you can make any bow. You do it. It's a tool that helps you. But it allows you to make any bow you've ever seen wow. and then some because you can make these huge bows or you can make little. With our mini bow dabber, you can even use eighth-inch ribbon and make little itty-bitty bows. Hmm. Wow. You know, what's a cute thing to do is I use, some, use sometimes little uh, little. Uh, Toys and things like that on the on the bag. Uh, my my daughter went to college at TCU and she was in a sorority, and their um, their logo was a lyre, you know, the the old uh, string str- string instrument. And I found a little plastic lyre, and I, I remember I, I wrapped that had that dangling from a, from a piece of uh, of ribbon on her package because there was something inside that was you know, commemorative of her sorority. But that was you know you can do cute little things like that. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh no, absolutely. And we we have a, the. The Big Bow Dabber comes with a 30-minute DVD that shows all different kinds of ideas and ways to implement things into your bow right cool. in the Bow Dabra in one step, like what you're talking about. Well, wow. L- Lori's a year from now will be pristine and, and available for a re-gifting. And <laughs> I w- well, mine will be broken in and used, I'm sure. <laughs> I was going to re-gift mine to someone I know who likes to wrap gifts. <laughs> I hope, that, hope they're not listening to the program. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Sandy. you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.